Hello viewers, welcome to the new video session today. Today we are going to discuss about Ajax again. Today in this session we are going to create dependent select list that is cascading LOV. So our idea is we will select an, a department and employees will be populated here. You see all the employees are selected here. These are all the employees of all the departments. But we will make it sure that uh, which department we select the employees will all will be of that department only so so to to begin with it we have to do uh, as of uh, the earlier session we will have to create a application process and javascript so let's create the application process create dependent select okay and it will be must on demand 20 next now let's begin with our process here here we are going to do in department and employee table so emp and dpt is not going to use here so it will be employee id employee id id yes id employee uh, last name first name first name concatenated with space last name last name as name okay from employees uh, l o y employees her department id equal to department id equal to the temporary variable okay everything is right now you see id equal to id r dot id to a v r dot name so this is the json string we're going to create with uh, looping through this cursor so you see here is the JSON syntax. We are producing a JSON uh, data here. This is the JSON syntax. So each time for the for every record under that department, uh, one line is going to be added to the string and with the comma separated. Now we have completed the JSON by adding square bracket to the last to each end and then eliminating this comma okay so this is actually for okay this is the we have produced this one now we will have to, we have produced another vjson where i have concatenated this one and this one and i have taken the substring from the json one where this comma has been eliminated and then we have fetched the json variable to the client so it's a very simple process and you have to take care uh, to produce this one you know you, you will have to know the json syntax and you have to take a special care about uh, making this statement so our process is done here okay next Okay, create process now process has been created now what we will have to do is we are going to create a dynamic action let's create a dynamic action in department here it is two departments now create dynamic action that's the name of it dependent select list okay on change now here in this uh going to be i'm going to show it's going to be javascript execute javascript code now you'll have to write the code right here this is the code this one is very 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 simple code now let's change okay first save it it is p2 departments department and Data type must be JSON. Okay, data type must be JSON, and indicator is here. It is okay. Now you will have to do another thing here. Okay, 
the job is done except one thing copy the dependent select to here okay now our a javascript is complete what it does is it is a javascript api developed by oracle apex and it takes the input as uh, this one this is the application process and this is the input variable this is the input variable where the, this is the value is set by the uh, is set into the variable now we take the output from the server as a session as a json value okay and the load indicator is the uh, p2 employees now if the process is a successful one then it will empty the employee select list and it will go through the values in the json and it will append and it will append this item with the option values okay so this is a very simple way to populate json value into the select list with jquery this is actually jquery syntax okay now our javascript is complete okay okay oh here it is it must be of this type okay now save it okay now run the application okay now let's see if it works okay see it's working actually here it is null and it is also not selected so if i select sales then see yeah these are the employees of the department of sales okay if i select marketing what's going to happen here yeah these are the these are the two guys in the marketing department and if i do the executive then what's the, what's the result yeah stephen king and these are the executive and they purchasing what happens so our demonstration is working perfectly javascript with ajax with json is working fine now let's discuss a bit about this process you know we had uh, developed a json data here now i want to know what actually this data look like okay now i'm going to create a let's create a text area yeah a text area here name it json data okay only data data level it will be json json data okay now let's save it okay now we're gonna make a little bit change in our javascript you see p7 p2 data is the function okay now we're going to make these actually comment okay now we want to set this item with the return value that value we are having and to do that you will have to change the data type to text okay now okay now if we run so let's select the marketing yeah this is the data this is the json data we have created you see this is one record this is another record and this is the finally the the bracket that encloses all the data now if select sales let's, let's see what happens these are the data we are fetching from the server to the client okay and these are the data actually populated in employees so so it's, it's clear how we produce our data and fetch that data from server to the client and how we populate this data into the select list now we'll change the javascript to the original one that is we're going to do this okay now save you have to remember this line and you have to remember these these three lines very carefully length and append 
this is the okay another thing we didn't change that is it must be json okay save now run marketing yes this is the id accounting Shelly Higgins, William. So that ends our demonstration today. It's a, a very simple, but it's a tricky one. You have to take care of very little things here so to make it uh, happen yourself. And you're going to need these uh, demonstrations of Ajax uh, to work on uh, tabular forms. So take these lessons very carefully and try to understand what I have done. So thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody.